talk about a very important aspect in the Salesforce. Basically for any company or any uh, organization, what is the most important aspect for them? That is nothing but the lead. Why? Because if you want to sell your service, your product, you will definitely going to need a lead. So how to capture those leads? Those leads can be captured by using a very important tool which is provided by Salesforce that is web to lead. So how it is going to be important? Because if you have a website and on your web page, let's say a customer X is going and he wants to just enter the data and you want to capture those things in your CRM, then you need to use this tool. It's a great tool because you will have a lot of leads which is coming in your website that can be captured directly from web to lead inside your Salesforce. And then you can use that lead data in order to generate your business. So now let's see how we can use this great tool using Salesforce. Let's see in, in the Salesforce itself. Okay, so now you need to log into your organization. I have used my login credential to log in my uh, development org. Now, just need to go to the setup inside that. You just need to write down the web. You'll find web to lead under the, underneath the marketing menu. Now, you will see the web to lead screen. So now here, uh, it is very, very much important that this checkbox should be enabled, that is web to lead enabled. If it is enabled, then you will be able to capture the leads from the website into, into your Salesforce CRM. Now I just need to show you what exactly we can do inside this form. You need to enable this. Then if you want to enter the uh, traffic generated from the humans, and if it is from ports, if you want to restrict it, you can use the recapture verification. That is the service provided by the Google. So you need to register yourself on the Google and then you need to provide the API key and all those stuff. So for your website, that captcha will be enabled. So that is for that. You need to go to Google and you need to enter your website details and generate the recapture API key from there. Here, you need to provide the default lead creator. So whoever is going to uh, enter the data, for example, user, let's say the lead is coming from the website and you need to have the lead creator for that particular lead, you need to provide the user, your Salesforce user, so you can use any of the user. Here, this is the, my user, so you can, you can, uh, use any user which will be the default lead creator you can say and after creating the lead if you want to do some response to the customer like thank you email or uh, thank you for showing the support in our service or in your product then you can create a template and use that template in order to generate the response from the website itself so this is a basic uh, template that will tell Customer that thank you for uh, submitting your request kind of thing now you just need to save it so that is the basic information has been saved now the next step very important step you need to create a web form so just need to click on this create web to lead form now you can see all the available fields on the left hand side you can see it and on the right hand side you can have the fields which you will require on your website so the default fields has been given you can have more fields like if you want to capture the phone details or mobile details you can add it right you can also have your custom lead fields that can all be also be captured over here so you can use as many fields as it is available on the left hand side, you can capture it on the right hand side. Now, after completion of the completion of the uh, let's say the user has completed the web form, he has entered all the details and submitted the form. Now, you want to divert the user on a particular page, 
then you can use this written URL. Let's say I'm currently using google.com return. Okay, so when I submit the form from my website, it will return to the it will return to the Google website. Now I'm not considering this recapture right now because uh, in order to use this thing, we need to register it over the recapture Google service. So that's it for uh, generating the web form. I, we just need to click on this generate button and it will create the effectively form. So you can see it's a basic HTML row data where you can find all the details like in this row HTML, uh, you will find this ID that is very important thing. This will tell us the organization ID on which you want to submit the data. So this is the, you can say the unique ID for each and every organization on the Salesforce. So when a customer is submitting the form, that data will be going to this particular organization. So this ID, this 15 digit ID is very important. Now you can see we have used the written URL as a Google, right? So the Google website will be opened once we'll submit the form. Now you, you can see the basic fields which we have uh, utilized on the right hand side are there in this form. We can copy this and let's say I am using a not paid editor and pasting this data and saving it as an HTML form. So let's say this is a sample web to lead html so this form has been saved now sample sample where is the page Let's go to HTML. So it yes, now you can see this page. Double click on that page. You'll find this fields which are you, you need to it's a row HTML so you need to submit it to your webmaster so that we can have beautiful look and feel. Now we just need to enter the data like let's say I'm entering Parish and P and Paris P and Video. Infotech.com Variants Infotech and the bug Ninja and Mumbai. You can try it. And submit it. Now you can see after submitting the form, what we have done is we have requested that the user should be redirected to a particular URL that is nothing but the Google. And you can see we have been redirected to the Google site itself. Now let's go to our Salesforce org in order to check whether the lead has been generated or not. So let's go to the sales. We need to get the, uh, go to the sales cloud. Go to the lead. And 
click on today's lead you can see the new lead has been created isn't it awesome you can capture all the details from your website directly into the salesforce crm and now you can use this lead in order to generate your business this lead can be converted into account contact and opportunity so that is how we can capture the data from website into the salesforce crm then it is very easy you can try it on your own as well thank you for watching this video and if you like it please press on the bell icon